Hello everyone, thank you for joining this walkthrough using Tableau. In this short video, we will use a data set provided by NASA and the Media Oracle Society to explore a few key features of Tableau. These walkthroughs align with a free assignment provided by the Tableau Academic Programs team. Additional details about this assignment and other free content provided by the Academic Programs are available in the description below. Now, let's get started with creating a calculated field. Navigate to the Analysis section of the Tableau Navigation Bar. Select Calculated Field on the drop-down menu. Rename the calculation to Tons. In the text box, type Mass to pull in the mass measure into the calculation. Add the division symbol, followed by 907185 to convert grams to tons. Now that we've created a calculated field, let's create a bar chart. Create a new sheet and rename it Meteorite by City. Drag City to the rows shelf and tons to the column shelf. Ensure the view is displaying the data using horizontal bars. You can check this by clicking the Show Me tab in the top right corner. Adjust the sort to display in descending order. You can do this by clicking the sort icon on the horizontal axis. Now let's drag City to the filter shelf to open up the filters dialog box. Click on the top tab and check the By Field radio button. Set the top setting to 10 and the buy setting to tons and sum. Congrats, you've now created a bar chart. Now let's take a look at creating a map. Create a new sheet and rename it Meteorites by Location. Locate the dimensions titled Lat and Long. Drag long to the column shelf and lap to the rows shelf to create a symbol map. Drag the tons measure to the size mark. This will display the size of each meteorite based on weight. Clicking on the size mark presents a slider. Use this slider to adjust the size of each mark. Drag the fall dimension to the color mark. Click the color mark icon and adjust the opacity to 75%. Drag year, city, and fall to the tooltip. Click the tooltip mark and rename fall to fallen status. Remove the lat and long information. Edit the tooltip to display the information in the following order, city, year, tons, and fallen status. Congrats, you've now created a Tableau map. Now let's put everything together and build a dashboard. Create a new dashboard and rename it Space Division. Check the box on the dashboard pane to show dashboard title. Drag the Meteorite by City and Meteorites by Location views to the dashboard. Select the Tons legend located on the right side of the dashboard and open the More Options menu. Remove this item from the dashboard. Drag the Fall legend to the Meteorites by Location view. Adjust the width of the area to your desired width. This now completes this Tableau walkthrough. Thanks for watching.